This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, now we're back here with another episode of Near Automata. In the last episode, Nine, or Nine S. Well, Nine S did get up after his horror deal, but we finished A2's little story about her trying to save Pascal's village, and all of it was for naught as the little children committed suicide because of the fear they were taught by Pascal. And Pascal, in his uh, torment, asked us to destroy him, which we did. Not gladly. Well, I guess it depends on A2's motivations, but let's see how A2 dealt with during this whole scene, so let's play as him for a while. Try not to overdo it, 9S. Yeah, well, we can't really run around, so we a can do whatever we want. thank you for saving your butt would be nice. He did say thank you, so you need to calm down. Oh, and we're still walking slow when it comes to this. I don't think I, I, don't think I need to buy anything, do I? I, I haven't really been getting as many chips, so I don't have to worry about fusing as much. Report. And of course, now that we've Mail notification received from access point. now that we've got a new story, now we got our own set of side quests to do. So, uh, let's see what the inbox is for correspondence. Council of Humanity, attention. Uh, as you're all aware, our recent large-scale offense have ended in crushing defeat, with the loss of our Yorha compatriots being a particular point of deep regret. Long will we remember their brave sacrifice. However, do not lose hope, for the truth is that we, humanity's greatest army, still possess the upper hand. Go forth and fight for victory, not just for your sake, but for the sake of the fallen as well. Uh, I don't think you have anyone left, dude. You have, like, the resistance, where there's a lot of them got killed, so, you know. Is that the only side quest right now? It's just, uh... Oh, we can't even teleport to the factory right now. Actually, we can't teleport anywhere, really. Probably we need to act, start activating them or something like that, but yeah, there's only two places to go, so. Let's see what you have, Mr. Resistance Man. Nope, don't have anything. Yeah, well, sorry to hear that. I've lost my whole squad, too, so. We're, we're, we're squad buddies, or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, have you actually tried looking for them for once? Like doing your own thing? Uh huh. What an excuse. Fine. I mean, we got nothing else better to do. We lost. We lost our waifu. So, mm, flooded city, huh? Dual weapons. Okay. All right. Well, we'll mess with that when we do. Oh, do I? Oh, I don't even have any weapons, do I? Oh no, I do. Well, usually they're on my back, so that's why I was kind of surprised that. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave that since that's the only... Actually, technically I have uh, another weapon. Um, oh yeah, off screen I leveled up like the Cypher stick and, uh, and uh, another weapon. Yeah, it doesn't really... I mean, other than being weaker. It's big thing is it changes, apparently changes tr uh, treasure chests, apparently, according to the description. I don't know what that actually means. Like, it says, does that mean it re like any treasure chest has a randomization to it? Or, well, anyway. What is that? An enormous facility that appeared from an area beneath the ground. It would appear to be machine-related in origin. Further details unknown. Mobile transport platform detected in the section emerging from the facility center. So, an elevator? Where does it go? To hell? I don't know. I guess we'll find out as we go, go down there. Yeah, I just wanted to kill some. Robots as a as a trailing moose. And there's a meal running around. Proposal. Use pod fire to force him to stop. We know about that. We've run into him before. So it looks like you survived this whole mess. Yeah, hi. Yeah, maybe another day. Oh, you have different... Okay, you actually have a... Uh, let's see. Is there anything I actually... I know where I could get those, so that's not a big deal. And sockets. Crush nuts, you can get them easily in the, actually in the factory area, uh, where I f was fighting. Uh, I don't even think I need those anymore, do I? Stretch coils. 
Well, there are some weapons I don't have, and I don't know if they require them or not. Well, I'll, I'll buy some so I don't have to worry about grinding for them later. Usually you need five per weapon. So, if I'm missing five or six, I'll just... I probably won't even need these, but I've got the little extra money from selling the machine cores. So, it's not... It's not I'm not hurting too badly. Uh, but yeah, I can grind those, so I don't need to worry about that. Din sockets. Since I don't have a lot of them, I must not know where to grind for them, but... I, I think I have some machine cores I could sell too, actually. Uh, I got a brace, I'll sell that. Yeah, a couple of... Oh, you can sell Pascal's core, core now. We don't know how... We don't know how we got it, even though A2 should have it, but we can exchange it for money. <laughs> so that's the difference between hacking him and uh, killing him outright. I'm, I'm 9S, dude. But yeah, we don't... Did I help you with your, like, your uh, memories and everything like that? With the... Okay, whatever. Get me away from that ma from that ma music. Hmm. Now, how do we get in this thing? Oh, well, we attack it. Oh, we're not. So we need to take Wait, off the... What is the motive for a machine life form to provide such an announcement? There's no reason for anything they do. Uh oh, looks like 9S is going a bit uh, machine hatey crazy. I mean, didn't like machine before, but... of objects known as resource recovery units. Now they're just messing with us. Hmm. So we can't do anything with any of these until we get the recovery unit. So let's look at the map and see where we gotta go now. So, that's for gate keep gatekeepers. Hmm. Looks like we have to go to the forest again. Of course we do. Oh yeah, now that we now that we have 9S, we can do all those, uh, get all those, uh, chests we missed before. So... All right, well, let's go back to the... God, there's quite a few of them all over the place. I might have to... It might be easier just to... Since I don't know if I might want to do story for a bit, but I might just have to hey, kind Bob, of mark them on my map and kind of remember. Give me a rundown on what while I was resting. Affirmative. Relevant data concerns the massive facility you just accessed. It appears to be machine-related in origin, though further details are unknown. Additionally, the large structural units launched from the facility have been detected in multiple areas. Large structural units? Said units were marked as goals earlier. They are believed to be so-called resource recovery units. What do these units do? Unknown. Where's A2? Unit A2's position and current status are unknown. All right. Mark the positions of those units on my map, will you? Proposal. Unit 9S should state his intentions. I'm going to wipe out the machines. With the bunker destroyed, previous orders to Yorha units would be suspended. Proposal. Rendezvous with resistance forces and confirm chain of command. I don't care about chain of command. I have one goal now. I'm going to kill every last machine. And then, I'm going to kill A2. Well... That's bad for A2, although A2 is a lot more powerful than so we'll have to see see how that works out. Nuclear arms. Oh, we we already have that. Why did that reappear? I thought I gra got that before. So why are certain uh, uh chests reappearing then? Hmm. Well, anyway, let me go let me go to that one 
There's a teleporter around here somewhere. Yeah, I wonder why they respawned. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright, let's go to that flooded city place first so we can get that that quest out of the way. Uh, oh, now I can teleport to the hangars and everything with like that. Because I know there's a couple of qua uh, there's a couple of chests in there that I can let's see wasn't there, it was like either one or two that were in there that I didn't get last time. Um, then there's the chest in the ravine. Then there's like one or two chests in the forest I I missed when I was there. They're like on a yeah they're like on a lower plane you have to like really drop down to a spot to get them so uh, I'm trying to think what else. I might just off screen just have to go through every single area and see like what's what's respawned and everything like that so I can see what to what to get or what to check. But all right, let's uh, yeah, we'll take care of this since I think I think I'm I don't need pure water anymore. I think I'm good on that, so so I don't have to come back here for grinding anymore. As far as he doesn't mention something about the big, the big arm or whatever, unless. Oh, yeah, he doesn't mention anything about that, so I don't know. Alert! This is one of the resistance members we were asked to locate. I was afraid we'd find this. The only personal items are these dog tags. Analysis. Remaining transmission records indicate the Resistance members were attempting to retreat from battle. Analysis of final coordinates complete. Marking locations on map. Let's go take a look. Maybe some of them will still be alive. Rusty dog tag. Alright. Now we gotta keep looking for more spots. Uh, I missed this. Well, I knew about this, but I forgot to check it as A2. But yeah, you can find a... Uh, uh, Ninus is a flight unit. unit. ID of your unit 2B confirmed or the craft. This belonged to 2B. Unsent message found within memory of flight unit. Play it. This is your unit 2B. If anyone is listening to this, there's something I need you to do. If you ever meet up with your unit 9S, I want him. I mean. Please just give him the following message. Nothing else. The time I was able to spend with you. It was like memories of pure light. Thank you. And I end of message. Oh, to be. I wonder what nine uh, A two says. Yeah, I, I knew about this because I, I had seen it before. For some reason, I just forgot to check it. I don't know why. As a as a A two, but yeah. When I, well, the thing is that reason why I said that it was nine S's pod because uh, nine S's pod was black and A two's was or sorry two B's was a. Um, let's see, where's this again? Probably better to tra travel to park rooms. And uh, two B's was white, so but that one's black, so not that matters, I guess. It's just that's why I thought it in the first place. So. All right, let's go to the park now and get that. I wonder how many quests to activate for uh, 9S. Actually, how many quests are we? Didn't we were weren't we at like 80 or something like that? Okay. And it looks like most of the quest completed quests give you like two percent, so that means we're nine away. So we got nine left. And I know we're not going to get them all um, through what we're currently playing as right now. Because I know I'm missing at least one for sure. That I can't get uh, out to play through the regular story. Not the Path C or whatever. That's what they call... At least that's what most of the guides and descriptions call this path when you play as A2. And uh, after basically everything goes to crap is called the C path. Even though it leads to it can lead to multiple different endings. Uh, but I'll talk about that when we get to it, even though I've mentioned it before. But and then A path is would you play as two B for the first time, and then B path is when you play as nine S for the first time, and so forth. And then anything after after E or whatever are oh yeah, you guys still crazy? Yeah. Oh, zombie machine. You can actually talk to the zombie machines. 
You must be the bleep one. Hey, no, no reason for swearing, dude. Come on, there's children here. I think. I don't know. They might still be alive. Have we ever figured out, like, if we can actually attack this thing? We can affect this thing, but... But yeah, nothing ever comes of it. There's gotta be a side quest or something that deals... And we... I don't think we can hack it either, so... Because, yeah, why would that be a thing I could actually actively attack, you know, without... Man, there's blood everywhere. Whatever happened must have happened right here. Talk about a bad way to go. And this guy's like, what are you doing? That's a human. I'm going to eat your face. And you're like, no, you won't eat my face. I won't eat my face. I can't. I don't want to. I would taste funny anyway. All right, let's go back to the... Oh, yeah, I, got, I assume that... Can you still buy stuff? Or unless he's pretending to be, like... Uh, oh, he, I can, he can sell... Wait. No, natural rubbers, I don't... I might... I think I do actually need natural rubber for like. Uh, no, that was for the that was for the pods. I think I've I think I've already upgraded the pods to the point where I don't need the natural rubber anymore. I think. I'll well I'll double check. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I gotta remember that certain shops change in the final path that I have to double check and see if I'm if there's any available. So okay, so we got that one. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I need any natural rubbers anymore, but I'll I'll mess with that later. Uh, where's that? The factory entrance? Okay. Let's go to that one. To the factory! Yeah, it's gonna be sad if I ever go, if I, when I go back through all those places to check the, uh, chests that respawn or whatever, if I know there's, like, nothing worth it in them. I mean, like, opening that one chest, you got the, we got the, um, the nuclear codes, but we don't need those anymore. We did that quest. Is it is are those just there to collect again, just so to say, hey, we can you can fit, fill out your archive again or something with like that? I don't know. Even though you can't actually check the archive, I haven't. I still have yet to check that. So, oh yeah, there was that one, one or two chests that respawn here. So, first let's. Where are there? You are. Alert! This is one of the resistance members we were asked to locate. No vital signs detected. The unit is deceased. He is Alert. deceased. Emergency support request found in transmission records. When was it sent? Approximately 12 minutes ago. That means they're still alive. Let's go. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. Okay, this must be a joke because this is clearly a treasure chest now at this point. Like, before it wasn't. Now it is a treasure chest from fantasy. Is someone just playing a video game or something like that? No, it's hard to say when you, uh... Anyway, let's, uh... Yeah, now all those chests have transport teleported into... I thought the ch previous chests looked a little weird. Like, like the way it was designed. Yeah, now they're just recoveries. I wonder if that's the case with all of them now. They've just turned into healing items. Unless, maybe, unless I wear the, uh... Um, uh, hero sigil. Maybe that's why they, they did that. Because now that I've... I, Upgrade that weapon to level four. It activated that or something. I don't know because it says on the hero sigil that changes the um, chest contents. So maybe certain chests like you can reopen now that you when you do that or something. Uh, oh, here's no, no, that's just a another mission. Where's the? So we'll have to go to the royal chambers, or if not the royal chambers, I think. Well, that's the royal chambers is probably the quickest one. So we got another new quest there. So the other one, okay, it's in the desert. So we'll just teleport to the desert center. That'll be the closest one for that. Yeah, I was trying to go through the desert earlier, trying to see if I get more sim simply gadgets to pop up, but those seem to be tough. And I was looking it up. It didn't seem like those could be bought anywhere, but I don't know. Um, sometimes when you see guides online, sometimes they say they're thorough, but then you find out that they're not, like they're missing like a ton of information. But then again, there's a lot of places online that are just, are fan submitted stuff. So it's just like people who find it over time, put it together. So I'll go, days are, uh, days are slowly going by of, of those who, oh, actually I could just get the boar. I don't know why I'm not grabbing it. It's faster than I am. Um, not by a huge amount, but come on, dude, let me, let me ride you, Aragon, uh, a, a or whatever. 
Falcor? Yeah, Falcor. Yep, looks like there's a, a bit of a something going on. Oh yeah, all the treasure chests have changed. I guess because I got the hero sigil, they've all turned into fancy treasure boxes now. Over there. Initiating rescue. Well, I'm gonna hack you, so what do you think about them them sauce? Them applesauce. Yeah. Yeah. They, apparently they want to kill everything, so good for you, I guess. At least you're motivated. That's all we can ask for. Oh, one of them. Okay. These are getting a little better at this hacking and avoiding, at least. Not by much, but I'm still doing a little better. Yeah, sorry, I'm ruining the, the, all the dialogue by talking to them while they're talking, but it's not like it's really anything poignant. Oh, well. I said I was getting better and I get killed like a, or get beaten. So. Ah, whoa. Okay. So I finished hacking him while I was dodging, so that, that's good, I guess. There we go. That's enough, probably. Nope. Yeah, these guys are toughies. Smarter than the smarter, smarties, toughy than the toughies. Really shouldn't be blasting those uh, black blocks. So they're like one of the few things that's keep keeping me from getting zapped by the uh, uh, the purple balls. The purple balls of doom. Okay, now you're dead. You dead, son? You and your friends are dead. Oh, more machine cores, nice. I will take that to the bank. It's just fast. I took off all my, basically I took off all my attacking gear and just equipped it, uh, defensive stuff as well as, uh, um, as well as, uh, improved hacking gear. But, just because that does more damage for Ninus anyway, so, why, uh, why put attacking gear when his attack comboing and everything like that isn't really that efficient? Not really. I mean, I can make it. It's not like my attacks are that much worse than than uh, A twos or two Bs was, but you know, actually, the music kind of the hacking music kind of reminds me of like some Legend of Zelda or some old Nintendo stuff. Probably, that's probably done on purpose. I just want to listen to Legend of Zelda music. Do 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 do. Ah, dang it. Do 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 do. Classic iconic music right there. Is the guy made it Koji Kondo or something like that? Or am I thinking of someone else? I think so. But anyway. Although this music's good too, but I was about to make a rant about how video game music isn't as good as it used to be or isn't as interesting. Um, which is kind of true. I mean, back in the day, they were. I've, of course, I've had this argument before, so. Or a discussion before, um, is because they had limitations back in the day. Nowadays, when you don't have any limitations, I gained a level and a machine core. Nice. Sell it for a pretty, pretty, pretty penny. Pretty, pretty penny. Alert! This is one of the resistance members we were asked to locate. No vital signs detected. The unit is deceased. Damn. Analysis. All missing resistance members are deceased. I suppose we'd better return their belongings. Well, that was pointless, I guess. They all died. Oh well. At least we did, at least we did our best. But our best just wasn't good enough. Yep, it goes to show this world is a lot more bleak than we than we realized, you know. Kind of a kind of a far cry from other anime or anime-ish based games where everything works out in the end because of the power of friendship. 
I don't feel I feel like this game is gonna have not quite a truly super happy ending, but it'll it'll get somewhere close to it, but not quite. You know, like it'll like oh something like some a high note, but not like the obvious. Oh, everyone survived and all that other all that other stuff, which I don't mind. Some shows that have the power of friendship because it depends on the mentality of the show to be in the beginning. Is it meant for kids? Is it a comedy? Is it supposed to be you know loose? You know, is it supposed to be serious? Because if it's serious, and then you do the power of friendship, then, yeah, you're going to lose a lot of people to, to that. You're like, okay, that doesn't make sense. It's kind of like the Matrix, where Neo survives because of the power of love. Ugh. Oh, now you got flowers there, dude. Nope. They are dead. Uh, yep. I don't know. Oh, I mean, here you go. Flowers, huh? An old ritual put yeah I, I'm still I actually I don't really get the whole putting flowers on the grave I know it's an old tradition but yeah I guess it's just one way for us to mourn it where you is the idea of putting something that's alive on the grave until it withers and dies like symbolic or something like that actually you know what I've never actually looked up why we put flowers on graves like the original reason to yeah you were able to escape because you were do you have do you have a survivor's guilt now all right. Before we call it an episode, let's see the what the uh, mourning the dead to be. I'll have to get some flowers for two B. Can I steal your flowers? Yoink. No. Um, okay. So before we go, let's uh, or before we call it an episode, let me see what the quest in the castle is all about. I mean, I'll have to check and see what the quest completion log is. If it's eighty-four percent, then I've got a a, a rough idea of like. Although, are all uh, side quests can, uh, equal in terms of percentage? I mean, in terms of a significance, they're different, but in terms of like actual game, in-game percentage points. Oh yeah, I guess I could upgrade some of my weapons while I'm here to level 4, since I'm in the general area. Uh, oops, okay, let's look at quests. That's... Well, now it says 82, huh. Maybe it was 82 after I acquired that one quest, maybe? Hmm. Wait, is it still active? Huh. Oh, nope. Oh, I'm still not done with it yet. Huh. Okay. Um... God, I'm already here. Might as well, might as well continue. Okay. Whoops. Let me. Oops. Come on. For some reason, I thought it said it was complete already. My bad. Is what I get for jumping the gun. All right. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, we can upgrade almost all of them, but how much material? I do need quite a bit. I've I've noticed there's a few items that I don't have a lot of, like uh, you know, sturdy sockets are one. Um, clean out, I know where to, uh, clean out, crush nuts, I know where to get those. But you know, there's just or meteorites and stuff like that. Um, let me upgrade the if I have them, I'm gonna upgrade the white equipment, which is like um, the like. Uh, Like virtuous, yeah, like virtuous treaty, cruel blood oath, stuff like that. Um, aren't aren't there some lances that are also considered like yeah, like virtuous dignity is one. Uh, yeah, let me let's do a virtuous contract. Um, virtuous treaty and cursed blood oath. I I must be missing the spear. That's the opposite of uh, virtuous dignity. Like I'm missing the dark version of that because I don't see any that would usually have some name or whatever. Uh, I mean, I could just upgrade all the ones I can. I think there. I think one episode I'll just I'll uh, upgrade and read most of the. Um, and you look at some of the the cloud sword, well, almost cloud sword anyway. I think. Actually, it looks like most of the weapons have a unique, 
Like they'll have a common like top uh, a feet uh, um, skill, and then the, they'll have a different bottom skill. Some will be uh, silly like robot discount and machine brain or whatever, but then others will have like attack speed, holy blessing, finish all that. Um, I'll probably at some point go through all of them and see which ones I want to actually um, do, but I'll upgrade those later. Whoops. Crap. I did not mean to skip that, dudes. Okay. Uh, uh, he was giving us a weapon because we upgraded our, our white weapons, I think. This is one of the weapons I was telling you about. It was passed down through the generation until it came to me. I can't bring myself to seal it away, but I know you'll give it the respect it craves. It'll, I'll, give it, I'll give it what it craves? Like electrolytes? What do I need? Beast hide, of course I do. Cruel Lament. Weapons made of black armor for the meat. So we're using samurai uh, masks as punching. That's funny. Um, okay. I think that was for upgrading our white equipment, maybe. Yeah, I didn't mean to skip that, folks, because I thought he was just going to say, Oh, you have that white weapon. Cool. But no, he, he said something else. So, yeah, sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah, I spent too much time messing with those weapons. Um... Uh, so I think, yeah, off screen, I'll just upgrade all the weapons I can. And at some point, I'm probably going to... I might wait till I grab every single weapon in the game before I do a read the stories thing. I know I did it with the, the Cruel Oath, but at the time, that was the only weapon I had level four. So, so yeah, let me let me at least finish the, the um, side quest with the... Uh, uh, probably the... Where is it? Near the tower? I think the it's the closest one. Yeah. We'll do that and then we'll call it an episode. Yeah, sorry. I spent a bit more time on that than I expected. Although, I wasn't expecting to go weapon. Because I haven't actually looked up how to get all the weapons in the game yet. I was kind of waiting until we beat the game officially. Like, with, with, uh, with at least Route C being finished. And then I'll go through, like, weapon grinding and everything like that. Or, I mean, trying to find all the weapons. The only, the only reason I did the fishing one when I did is because it was like I was pretty much in the general area and I thought, eh, let's just let's just go and do this. Let's just get this out of the way since I'm like right there and it didn't actually take me that long to do the fishing. I thought it'd take me longer because I thought the random drops for those would be a bit ridiculous, but apparently it's you're more likely to get it within a couple of fishing tries, from what I've noticed. So, all right, let's lay some flowers on the grave of the dying. Or what's that grave that's called in a... Um, oh, do we actually have to go to Emil's, like, uh, little thing? Huh. Oh, yeah, it did say something about flowers, so maybe we're gathering the flowers for him or something like that. Um, I th well, there's the grave of the unknown soldier. I thought there was a thing called the grave of the undying or something like that. Or maybe I'm thinking of a fantasy book. I wouldn't be surprised. I've read so much fantasy over the years of my life. I wouldn't be surprised if I, if I get mixed, uh, get the media, uh, different fancy books mixed up. I'm not quite sure what it means to mourn. Or even if we have a soul to concern ourselves with. But I hope you're at rest, to be. Sweet dreams. I'll be with you before long. Hey man, don't uh, don't uh, give up your life so so quickly now. Yeah, very few games tend to like touch on the the fact of a main character dying or at least a very important character kicking the bucket. You know, it's not a common. But I guess with that we uh, complete the quest. Let me let me double check just to make sure. Oh, now it's huh? Now it's not there anymore. Uh, huh. That's weird. Maybe I have to teleport back? Because, yeah, there was a quest marker there and then it disappeared. Huh. Maybe there was another option or something like that? Well, that doesn't make sense. Well, anyway, I'll, I guess I'll figure it out later. So we've, uh, we've mourned the dead as best we could, and now we must move on. And in the next episode of Near Automata, we'll try to find that code to get into the tower. That might be the only way to avenge uh, 2B and work our way towards getting a uh, vengeance on A2. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.